I'm like, is that your baby? And then the guy's like, yes, that's my kid. I'm like, okay, your kid is really cute and I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, man. Kapchagi again natana juno. Nan amu. Hey you guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bolo Tife, but of course you can call me Tife. So today we have got another video, but of course a new kind of video. But before I tell you guys what we have, I have Busayo. So um, her name is Busayo and she's here again. I mean, she's been in some of my videos and she's here again. So we have mukbang. We are going to be eating and then we are going to be discussing and just talking really cool stuff i bet you guys are gonna enjoy it but first off we're gonna show you our food i am having ribs and fries and she is having eba and egusi soup nigerian tradition <laughs> yoruba food and juice yes of course so, so first off i have a question for us so i'm going to ask you what is your worst date in finland actually? my worst date mm -hmm. i've never been I've never gone on a date in Finland. That, that's so weird, but that's true because mm -hmm. I'm always counseling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. scared of meeting weird people. So let me ask you the same question. I know you've had like a lot of guys walk up to you, and you've been on several dates. So, guys have walked up to me. I've been on several dates, but there's this date that is just like, why, my guy, why? So. <laughs> I go on this date with this guy and this guy started politics of Buari do this, Buari do that and I'm like, mm, okay, what are we here for? Are we here to talk about Buari or like, we are, talk, we are here to talk about like ourselves and all. This guy literally talked about politics from beginning to the end. I was like literally so mad. I actually just told him that I had to go, you know. Went so. A new question. So... Like, have you exp what is your dating experience in Finland? Have you met like weird guys? Because I uh -huh. have met like <laughs> different type of people. Like people are actually weird. Yeah, like you just be surprised. A lot of people, like some guys, guys, you guys. I don't know. You need to call a meeting. You need to. I swear, literally <laughs> last week, mm -hmm. this guy is with a baby. Yeah, and I've actually met him before, you know, mm -hmm. like, and then I gave him my number because I was rushing to work and I don't have time to be arguing. He said, no, I can't give my number at all. <laughs> so I gave him my number. This guy literally messaged me, call me all the time. I didn't pick his call. So then I saw him again last week. This guy had the baby telling me, oh, say, you didn't pick my call and all. I'm like, is that your baby? And then the guy's like, yes, that's my kid. I'm like, okay, your kid is really cute and I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, man. Okay, so for me. I've had someone that had three children. Like, I know the wife. Like, like really? we are really, really close. Like, okay, not really, really close. Like, I know the wife very well. I know his children, like three children. And he, he, he just, okay, now I need you. He came on my Instagram page. Which mm, person? Do I need person? I don't, I, I think you will, but maybe you might not know the face very well. Wow, I wish Came into my DM. I'm like, okay, give me your number. We should link up and all. I'm like, okay, no problem. We can link up. <laughs> mm. And brother called me. I was like, oh, I'm really, really interested in you. I've always liked you. Three, and you know his children and his And kids. wife. Are you kidding? Three children and wife. I said, ah, okay, please, sir. What about um, sister? So, 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 so. Wow. I said, ah. Everybody knows I'm not supposed to be married to her. I can't marry that kind of woman. But well, you're married to her. Are you to my level, This and that. I'm like, how, brother? Like, I he wants. Do you, you think you're that naive? You'll not be like, wow, wow. I really. <laughs> he he actually said he would travel like three and a half hours to come and meet me where I am. Where? Okay, when you were in. in I Vascular. was in Yuvascula. I'm like. It's not okay. I don't know the person. I'm busy. Like Even if you're not busy, I swear, like. Even if you are jobless, you can't it? just come to my ah. Hmm. So guy I met one year ago. Of course, I couldn't remember until I met him this summer. This guy told me where I'm living. He told me my name, <laughs> and I'm looking like, okay, when did we meet? Like and then he's like last year, last summer, yeah, one year, really. They go. I just like okay. Okay, why do you think guys do that? Like, do you think? Okay, let me ask. Do you think it's only African guys that does that? Mm. 
I don't know. Or I've it's seen just the common video. to all guys. I don't know if it's common to all guys, but because I've been, I've actually had an encounter with um, a Finnish guy. Mm -hmm. It's just like, do you want this? I'm like, no, and that's it. You know, like this guy literally. Like, they, are made, straight, you, you, they are straightforward. They are straightforward. Exactly, they are straight. The guy said he doesn't want a relationship. a relationship, he just wants to have sex. And I'm like, mm -hmm. no, I'm not ready for that, and that's it. Mm -hmm. But African guys, even if they just <laughs> want to have sex, they will try to like come into your life and try to make a relationship with you before they go, just go straight to the matter. If I'm down for it, fine, which of course I'm not, you know. <laughs> There's one I met in this summit, this guy today, no, not okay. today, but like um, this month, maybe okay. or last month. This guy is a Yoruba guy, all good and fine. We actually spoke really well and I'm thinking, okay, no problem, I can actually see this guy again. No problem. So this guy messaged me, first message this guy told me, say, I love you. I saw you mm -hmm. today and I really love you. <laughs> and I'm looking at him like, do you know? And then I'm asking like, you don't even know me, how can you love me? He said <laughs> that sometimes it works like that and everything starts. Okay, let's go out. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. When and where? No problem now. Then this guy said, come to my house. How? No, I don't reply the message again. Then this guy sent me a message. I told you now. Then he sent me a message again. That um that you are really rude. Uh -huh. You at least said that, 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 that. Instead of just ignoring me. Anyways, good morning. I just say, okay. I know that. I don't reply. I better have replied. <laughs> then it's me. I don't go out like that. So, you know you won't see me. Mm. Mm. That's true. So, have you like... Signed up on a dating app before? Mm, yes, I have, but at that time, yeah, I don't get to make friends, you know. Mm -hmm. So then I meet this guy, and then I'm telling him that I just want to be friends, that and I'm not there to like look for anything serious and all. Mm -hmm. Then this guy said, No, say he said, No, that he also is not a friend serious, but he just mm -hmm. wants to have sex. I'm like, Okay. I don't want to have sex and all. So like I met other people that were kind of looking for something serious, but they're okay. like, mm, no, I don't want something serious. And it's not with them, you know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I actually went on dating app, I wasn't looking for something serious because I feel like I want to meet somebody. I don't know anybody can meet anybody anyway. Yeah. But personally, I just feel like I really want to meet this person like some other person. way. I don't know. Yeah. And then like literally know the person and all. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've been on Tinder. Once, but that's last. I didn't meet anyone on there. <laughs> yeah. I, By the way, it wasn't. Tinder. I find it awkward. But I mean, too, I find it really awkward. But it wasn't Tinder. I was on. I was on them. Um, it start from M. I think. M. Maybe I, I can't really remember. remember. Actually, I can't remember. I don't but it wasn't me. Tinder. Yeah, it's not popular. I heard it from Patricia Bright sister. Okay. She said she met somebody. I'm like, okay, okay. So of course, you work at Abi. I've seen that. I've been on Tinder, but I didn't meet up with any one of them. Finnish guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Finnish people are usually very, they are usually there. And like, they kept on calling me. Let's meet up. I will, I will schedule an, a meeting, mm -hmm. and I will cancel again because it's weird to me. Like. <laughs> I should know this It's lucky way. Mm -hmm. It's lucky way, actually. Mm -hmm. But some people actually are, are like, they are lucky. Mm -hmm. It works out for some people, yeah. you know. But, and another thing that I noticed is that most people, I don't know if I'm generalizing, you know. Yeah. But I've kind of noticed that most guys in Finland think mm -hmm. or literally just believe that most girls, I mean, African girls, are mm -hmm. desperate. Yeah. For somebody. I think so. so they. Try to, they kind of try to just um, treat you with less respect, thinking mm -hmm. that you will be after them, you understand. And me, I'm just there, like, okay, it's not, it's not like the reputation we have with those. And people I won't blame them actually mm -hmm. because some girls are literally some Nigerian girls that. Oh, um, maybe African, not just not Nigeria, Nigeria, not just Nigeria. African African girls. and they act on, upon that desperation. Mm -hmm. Really, you can be desperate, but I just feel like. You should be able to discipline yourself not to act on that desperation. And that self-discipline is not mm -hmm. like it comes mm -hmm. so easily. Self-discipline is one of the fruit of the spirit. God can actually give it to you. Mm -hmm. So it's just like sometimes it's not by your power, you know. You just God just helps you. Like, what are you even trying to do? You know what I'm saying? So mm. yeah, because of like if you don't be desperate because you're looking for a man, like it will happen at the right time. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was. I feel like our generation we are so eager to get married. Mm. Or rather, I think most people are eager to be with somebody rather than marriage. That's sure? what I feel like. I don't think because so. Because they want to like post on Instagram <laughs> and they want to be like, oh, um, relationship goals and then mm-hmm. go to the restaurant. Okay. And it's lucky worse in this area because but, you don't really have friends, you know. Yeah. So when your friends like have somebody and then they always be that person. Pressing. So you that you don't have friends, you they're just pressure. yeah, kind yeah. of lucky. So that's why I feel like maybe when you're in Nigeria, you and your friends can still hang out mm-hmm. and be like girls night out and blah blah blah. But yeah, it's like you really don't have that girls. So then you're looking for a guy to fill up that space, space. of that friendship. Mm-hmm. Okay, you could be your friend and then be your boyfriend at the same time. But you just um you just have to chill sometimes. That's why you Take should learn to yeah, yeah. You should learn to enjoy your your own company. Mm-hmm. It's not easy. I'm, I'm not in Nigeria yet. It's not easy in a foreign country. Well, yeah, it's possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think good good guys are scars? Hmm. I think good people are scars. Okay. Friends, um, a partner, yeah. like both the girls and girls. Because you hear some girl, some guys saying that girls, all girls want now is your money. All girls want now is the this. Mm-hmm. That girls um just want to have sex. Yeah. And I'm looking like. Okay, not all girls, but because not everybody is like people that are actually good. Most people are actually the opposite, really. So that's why I say good people are scarce. Like, even for the guys, guys will say good girls are scarce. Girls will say good guys are scarce. So that's why I literally just say good people are scarce. But like, you can actually find the right person if you actually just erase that that, um, mentality of good people as well because then you don't see the good in people yeah. when you keep thinking good people as well you're just like ah mm-hmm. even if somebody does something that look like that you just assume they ah, mm-hmm. lay you what he what he that be every other person that kind of thing now so sometimes you just have to calm down try to study people give them a chance to be their self because mm-hmm. it's not really you meet somebody that they are yourself they're yourself with you they and it's good to be open-minded like yeah exactly that's the judge. word that's the word mm-hmm. That's the word. Be open-minded. Don't judge people based on your past, mm-hmm. um, past experiences. You know. Yeah. This food is really good. Really. <laughs> like seriously. And I'm enjoying my goosey soup. I, I know, right? Like I ate it on my birthday, and since then I'm like I really want to addicted. Eat it again. <laughs> no, not addicted. I'm <laughs> so sharp. That's why I'm like. So now I'm going to have this. So that's it for today, guys. You know. Actually, I'm going to show you guys. I'm done. I'm done with the food. I'm fine. Oh God, that guy is not good. Man, I the way I was rushing that. Oh one my God! Please don't come for me, yo. I like food. It's not my fault. I love food, but it's okay. I mean, everybody likes food, so um, okay. So yes. Thank you so much for watching this video Thank today. You. And if you guys have had any worst experience of dating or like guys walking up to you and stuff, or like um, if you can relate to anything we're saying, comment down below. Let's know what's up and um, let's just discuss. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe. Remember to like. Remember to share the video. Put on your post notifications so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. And um, see you in my next video. Bye. Peace out.